What's happening guys? And good morning from Loxton. Not too sure what the time is, I think it's only, it's probably about eight o'clock or something like that. Had a bit of a sleep in today. It's a cloudy day, but no wind at the moment. And uh, we're on a very short trip, probably three quarters of an hour, a uh, couple of k's up the river from Loxton to a little place called Tealy Sandbar and I'm probably going to make that home for a week or so maybe 10 days uh, supposed to have some mates coming up on the long weekend so I'm going to get there early and get a spot and uh, yeah so uh, could stay at Loxton I hung around for a couple of days longer than I probably should have but uh, I ended up getting my COVID uh, jab yesterday and um, I thought it's best just to hang around to make sure I didn't have any side effects and stuff like that. But uh, all good, and uh, now we're off. So let's turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at. And of course, there's a windmill over there. Beautiful morning so far. How's it going, guys? So here we are, Tealy's Sandbar, which I think the main part of Tealy's Sandbar is downstream about 400 metres on the corner there. But there is a track and bins and that which go for probably nearly a kilometre from when you uh, get to the main part of the sandbar. And uh, I came down here because uh, I'm supposed to have a couple of mates coming on the weekend. Not too sure if they're coming or not, but um, I thought we'd get down here early, save a spot. It is a long weekend this weekend. And down at the main part, there's already about four or five uh, camper vans. So we've got this beautiful little spot down here. Sorry if I'm uh, sounding a bit uh, knackered. I just took the dinghy across the other side and got a bit of firewood. So uh, I think we're gonna do a bit of a cook up tonight. It's supposed to be coming in a bit wet tomorrow and I bought a little um, wet, uh, boneless lamb roast and I thought I'd uh, give my uh, camp oven a bit of a test run that a few mates bought me before I left so uh, I'm going to give that a bit of a run okay I hate it when I've got the microphone facing the wrong way and I do a whole bloody segment and I get it perfect now I've got to try again so there we go we've got the fire going that's going to take an hour or so to get that up to how I want it so I've got enough coals uh, I've got plenty of firewood over there so as I said, we're going to do a boneless lamb roast. We're going to put a few herbs and stuff on it, put it in the camp oven, um, then put some potatoes, and I think we got butternut pumpkin someone gave me, cut a bit of that up and a few herbs and spices on that, and we'll cook it up and uh, make a little bit of gravy up, and that's going to be tea. Rightio, here we go. We're going to check these spuds. Hopefully we don't drop too many ashes in there. Hang on, we better just tidy a bit of this up a bit. Tidy her up. Get this lid off. Oh, that's good. That's looking good. So she's all plated up. Looking good. So beautiful night here by the fire, just had my meal. I'm only going to show you a little bit of the uh, camp oven roast because I think I'm going to do a separate video on that one. And uh, just to let you know, it was bloody beautiful. Check the video out. My little secret with the gravy, I gave it an 8.8. .8. That's my review. Now for a couple of glasses of scared of the dark medicine. Catch you guys tomorrow so I was having a nice quiet camp here at uh, Tealy Reserve no Tealy Sandbar and um, this bloody mob from bloody tail and Ben rocked up we got Christine there Nick come up for the day we got Jace he's really happy to see me we got Darren over here we got Kim up the back there and Deacon on his bike and uh, they reckon I haven't been eating good enough so we got the pork spit on but uh, we'll come back and film that a bit later and uh, see how it turns out doesn't look anywhere near as good as the roast I had the other night but uh, it'll do and there we go beautiful day here at Tealy Sandbar brilliant 
So yeah, just wanted a very quiet night by myself here at uh, Tealy Sandbar. And look what's turned up. We've got bloody tent city here. Bloody tail and bend mob. I've had a glass of scared of the dark medicine, but I probably didn't need it. So look how they all go quiet. They've been talking there, fucking talking like anything. Well, we actually come to have a nice quiet camp spot. Some like walked up the bloody caravan. <laughs> See, I told you they love me. But uh, here we go. Here's the uh, pork rotisserie roast. Got nothing on the, my bloody uh, chicken one I did in the camp oven two nights back, but uh, he's giving it a crack, the poor old guy. This is the cook here, Darren. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, it is looking pretty good. There's a few little things I'd do different, but uh, it's going okay. <laughs> uh, beautiful spot here. Holiday weekend at Tealy Sandbar. Okay, Darren and Kim's rotisserie pork in a roll spit, spit 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 on a spit with my famous goat gravy looking bloody brilliant we got the review to come okay then food review i can't film myself because it's too dark so i'm a bit disappointed there so i just got to show you the fire and all my mates over here the tail and bend crew um, the rotisserie pork we had uh, in a bread roll and uh, the crackling was pretty good and the gravy was excellent which I happened to make uh, so overall it was probably going to be about an 8.4 but with the gravy uh, 8.7 so 8.7 that's my review, and uh, the fire nine point. Well, Jason Kitty here, he's a fire man. Just make sure you don't have too much firewood because it will be gone very quickly. But the fire tonight, would you say nine point two? No, it wasn't that good. Eight point nine for the fire, but very good. That's my review. So last night here with the Tail and Ben crew, a few of them have already gone off, uh, gone home, and. Uh, we got Darren cooking tonight in the in the camp oven, and what do we got in the camp oven tonight, uh, we've Darren? Braised um, chops. Braised chops. Anything special in there with it, or is it a secret? Celery salt. Celery salt. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've had a thing about celery salt this weekend, but we'll uh, we'll show you that in a minute. And Kim, Kim, you've made some uh, garlic bread, and uh, I'm doing my special alley. Hello, Jason. <laughs> Jason's a fireman, he's been looking after the fire all day. And Deacon, what have you been doing? Riding his push bike. He's a taste tester. And uh, I'm making the uh, mashed spuds up here. So we got that. It's a bit windy today. But uh, we'll see if we've got a boil up here yet. Is that hot? Actually, that's not too bad. Oh, there we go. They're boiling away all right. So uh, we'll show you the finished product. A little bit later with a score. It's Darren's camper van and Kim's. Pretty windy out there today. And it's going to be windy again tomorrow, but I'm going to stay here for a couple more days and then sneak off. Okay, food review time. Slow cooked loin chops in the camp oven with. A little bit of Vegemite, wasn't there, Darren? Mm -hmm. A bit of Vegemite and a gravy mix, which he won't tell us what it was, mixed with a bit of my mashed potato and uh, Kim's gravy. I'm going to give it a 8.6. It was absolutely brilliant and uh, it was a good team effort and uh, excellent beautiful tasting chops and uh, Darren still eating his there absolutely brilliant what do you think of it Jase what did you give it I gave it a 9.1 a 9.1 yeah well, that's a rookie score he's going a bit over the top oh, there I'm used to your face mate <laughs> Declan what did you give it Declan or Deacon Deacon <laughs> sorry <laughs> Deacon 
Deacon. I've had a couple of scared of the dark medicines. 8.8, oh shit. Kim? 8.8. Oh, here we go, this will be fucking a good one. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about the swearing. Uh, Darren, what did you give you? I thought it'd be seven and a half. What? Seven and a half? Seven and a half, that's a rookie score. Anyway, what do I give it again? 8.4. Oh. 8.5. 8.6, sorry, I gave it an 8.6. After 20 fritz sandwiches, it tastes pretty good. So uh, 8.6, that's my review. Good morning, everyone. Well, that's the end of a fantastic long weekend uh, with my mates coming up and visit me. Been a great three nights. We had Darren and Kim, we've probably already mentioned that, came up on the Friday night, and then Jason and Deacon the next day, and then a couple other visitors, Nick and Chris, came for a drive from Tail and Bend and also Jude and Albie uh, came for a drive so great to catch up with all those guys brilliant weekend had some uh, fun nights but we're back to the reality now back by myself a little bit sad really what's happening guys okay we're off again just leaving Tealy Sandbar <coughs> and um, after a long weekend with a few mates thanks for those guys coming up and visiting and uh, yeah, off we go. Cruising off and heading to, I think, Whirlpool Bend. I've been told it's a pretty good spot to get to. It's only about uh, 20 k's down the river. And with daylight savings, I tended to get a bit of a later start. So I think it's about quarter to nine at the moment. So hopefully we're there around midday around that time. And uh, I'll turn the camera around in a minute and show you what we're looking at. So as you can see the sun's a fair way up now with daylight savings that's heading towards Loxton North and a little bit of a breeze behind me at the moment but that should cut out a bit as we get up around the corner and then I think the wind's dying later in the day around midday so it should be a pretty good day. How's it going guys? Well here we are at Whirlpool Bend. Great spot. Um, one of those little spots I've always uh, thought about when I was organising the trip. A uh, nice sandy beach on a little bit of a bend and uh, yeah absolutely beautiful. So it took us about four hours to get here. Bit of a walk to find a bit of firewood because obviously a lot of people have been here before but it's not too bad. I've got a little bit already. I'll go and get a bit more later on. Got to walk about two, three hundred metres and uh, drag some back. But beautiful spot. And we're probably about four or five kilometres from Lock 4, downstream from Lock 4. Got a higher boat parked up there. But uh, absolutely beautiful. And also parking over this side on the bend, we tend to miss out on a bit of the current, which is great. Good morning, and uh, we are off again. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, and we're leaving Whirlpool Bend. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure where I'm going at the moment. I, I was going to stay there a couple more days, but I tend to get a bit bored after a, a day or two and like to keep moving along. So, uh, I'm not going to bother about Catarapco Creek. I went for a bit of a tinny trip there. I probably should have filmed a bit, but not a real lot to see. Nice little spot, but we will be going past it uh, in a minute. And uh, I wanted to get to Lock 4 uh, before any wind came up. It's not too bad a day. I think it's only getting up to about 15, 16 kilometre an hour winds. 
but uh, hopefully we go through the lock about 8.30 and uh, then either go all the way to Berry if I find a nice spot before Berry because it's Thursday I think yeah if I find a nice spot before Berry I might uh, camp there and then uh, go to Berry for the weekend so in the book they call these training spurs uh, to keep you out of the shallow water so they're pretty well signposted where to go but uh, the square ones mean uh, as you're going upstream you keep them to your left and obviously opposite on the way back down and if you see the triangle ones there keep them to your right as you're going upstream and to your left going back downstream and that's Cataraptco Creek in the distance Got a bit of a snag over here they're the sort of scary ones as the water goes up probably in a week's time you're not going to be able to see that snag Cataraptco Creek which comes out about eight kilometers the other side of Loxton and a great little camping spot so it looks like there's a pretty good road into Cataraptco Creek camping area see people over there camping just in a normal car and it looks like they've got public toilets back there too and we're about three kilometers before lock four so just coming up to lock number four Got a kangaroo crossing the river, about four kilometres before Loxton. So here we are, camp for the night. I'm about three kilometres before Berry. Uh, I'm back to having good phone reception and stuff. I always feel a little bit better when I've got a decent phone reception. Um, makes it a little bit safer I think especially for an old bugger like me but uh, yeah we're at that's called Catarapco Trail but it's not actually Catarapco Island that's back the other side of the creek we passed earlier on but it looks like a fairly public area with roads and signs explaining everything so we might struggle to find a bit of firewood tonight but uh, I'll go for a bit of a walk later we've got a little creek over here which seeing I didn't uh, go down Cataraptco Creek we're gonna go down this creek um, and check it out so uh, we'll do that later on this afternoon it's probably about 11:30 at the moment and uh, yeah I'll just turn around see Gilligan back behind there what a great little boat Okay guys, that's going to finish this video, um, I think we've got enough uh, film here to make, I keep saying 15 to 18 minutes, but they've been going about 20 minutes lately, so I'm going to stop this one here, uh, so we're still at that same campsite about 3 to 4 k's before Berry. I uh, had a bit of fun yesterday, I might have put a bit up on this video, I'm not too sure yet, uh, where I helped uh, a young bloke out, Jackson, who actually built his own little paddle boat, brilliant little boat. Uh, wooden boat and uh, I think he takes it to all the wooden festivals and things like that but his little motor stopped uh, pumping fuel or something like that so I ended up towing him all the way into Berry uh, so his dad could uh, pick him up with the trailer for it so uh, I might put a little bit in this video but definitely a separate video for that one uh, I've been staying here a bit longer than I thought because I'm starting to catch a few yabbies now and it's a nice little area so not far from Berry if I need anything so probably another couple of days here then I'll move to Bury about Tuesday or Wednesday and uh, stay there for the weekend but uh, that's gonna do it and we'll catch you guys in the next video catch you later and don't forget to subscribe press the thumbs up button most people aren't even watching at this stage <laughs> they've turned it off but I should be start saying all of this at the start but um, yeah leave any comments all of that stuff share the videos if you like and uh, tell your mates and we'll catch you guys next week. See ya.